systems check. We are Roger to go. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, or buenas noches, whatever time it is when you're watching this video. This is the Santa Fe Report, and thank you for being here. I'm Norm Morrison. That intro, wasn't that freaking awesome? I love it. Now, I wish I could say that I created that, but I didn't. But an obviously very talented and skilled individual by the name of Max Zabo, and I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correct, S-Z-A-B-O. I, I don't actually know Max. Uh, he's a friend of a friend, and he actually created the intro for my friend, but it wasn't quite her style, and uh, I had seen it and loved it, and uh, she asked Max if he would adapt what he had done for her uh, to the Santa Fe Report. So that is now my new intro to the Santa Fe Report, and I'm just blown away by it, Max. I, I love it. I hope you're watching. Thank you very much, guy. We've just got past the 4th of July. I had an absolutely marvelous 4th. Uh, don't think I've had a better one. Uh, spent it with old and new friends and just had an absolutely wonderful time. So I'm all recovered for that. I'm, I'm up and ready to go. And this is, there's been a bit of a, a time lag between this video and my, my last one. And uh, kind of ironic after not so long ago uh, doing um, a video blog on, on my commitment to this. Well, my commitment hasn't wavered, but my priorities had to change a bit for a few days. Uh, there were some things that I needed to get done for my my new website, which will be um, will be online very shortly now. And I had to get these things done. And the, there was like three intensive days of of getting some things done and getting some things done that I thought had been done already but hadn't. Uh, so I just wasn't able to find the time to uh, to make a video. And then on the fourth, it was a busy day and. Uh, you know, I was actually I was kind of thinking of doing a video on the fourth, but uh, had had too much going on that just didn't happen. So uh, I'm happy to be back. Thank you for being back with me. Now I'm hoping we don't get preempted today. There is a storm coming up in the north, which is the direction that I'm facing, and there's a bit of thunder going on right now. Uh, it's a little bit on the dark side, so I brought out one of my studio lights today. Uh, I'm hoping that's helping a, a little bit, although. I'm not sure that it is. But anyway, uh, I may be a little dark, but I'm still here, so if you can't see me, just pretend it's an audio. I recently bought a new book. It's called Deep Truth, and it's by Greg Braden. Now, a lot of you are familiar with Greg. Uh, I've followed him for uh, quite a number of years now. Uh, he's, he's kind of a semi-local boy. Uh, he just lives up the road uh, north of Taos. And, uh, I, re I, I like the guy personally, and I've got a lot of respect for him. Now, Greg is a scientist by training, and he studied the indigenous cultures of peoples in North America, South America, Southeast Asia, among others. And I really like the way that he mixes the, the spirituality of those cultures with the science. And this book is called Deep Truth, and I really don't know what it's about. I haven't even read the back cover yet, so I, I can't tell you, but just because it was Greg Braden's book, uh, I bought it. And when I saw the title, it brought to mind some of the things that we consider deep truths in our society, right from scientific deep truths to the way things are in life, the way things are in the world. And deep truths are only deep truths until the next deep truth comes along. I'm Norm Morrison. This is the Santa Fe Report.